ever since I was a little kid, I have loved the Beatles. I had listened to them since birth. John, Paul, George, and Ringo were all household names in my family. I was familiar with all their albums, but my favorite album was the White Album. There was one song in there that stood out to me, and it was called Revolution 9. I always wondered what it was. John Lennon said it depicted an actual revolution, but others said that it was about Paul McCartney's death, especially after listening to it backwards. Years later, the Beatles were brought back to full glory by a rock band name called Beatles Rock Band. I obviously got this game and saw that it had all my favorite songs on it. I forgot all about that stupid conspiracy theory involving Paul and Revolution 9. I enjoyed that game. I, I played the story until everything was unlocked. After that, I played the story again, and at the end, I saw Revolution 9 unlocked. After that, I quickly went back to the song menu of the game, and at first I could not see it, but when I went down all the way to the bottom where all the hard songs are, and it was listed as the hardest song on the game. I thought, how hard could it be? The only thing made available to play was vocals. I picked Expert and started out with Paul saying number nine over and over again. It showed a crowd yelling and the Beatles walking on stage. And I would have to say number nine every time it came back up. After I got past the song, text came up and said Revolution 9 backwards. It started having to t say, turn me on, dead man, instead of number nine. And images of Paul McCartney's bloody, decapitated head were showing. Weird noises kept popping up, and images of the three Beatles crying, as well as Paul's bloody, headless body with writing on it saying, Magical Mystic Boy, showed. It then showed people screaming and crying, and then it ended, saying, Paul is dead. Well, all I can say is none of the workers here believe me.